Here at the Microbrew, we like to feature games that are easy to learn and quick to play, and we do that with guests that have not played the game before. And tonight, I'll introduce uh, the, those guests. We have Will, we have Gary, which you all know, Chance, and Brian. And tonight's game is Sushi Go. And Sushi Go is a card drafting game. And what that means is we're all going to have a, um, a hand of cards that we, get, we can look at. And then what we'll do is we will pick one of the cards, play it in front of us, and then we'll pass the rest of the hand to the next player. And we continue to uh, pass and play until we run out of cards. That's what drafting means. And what's cool about a drafting game is that um, as we play, uh, whether it's three players or six players, it roughly takes about the same amount of time. So the objective to Sushi Go is to have the most satisfied tummy by the, by the end of the game. And we have a way of determining who has the most satisfied tummy by uh, whoever scores the most points. It is an objective uh, determination there. So uh, they've, they've list, listed out for us, and so you need to know how to score these points so you can make decisions on what you want to eat here. So I've put these cards uh, together so we can look at that. I can explain how each one scores, and then we'll put them on the screen for everybody at home. So uh, this first one here is a Maki Roll. And you'll notice if you, if you look at the Maki Roll cards, some of them have one, two, or three uh, rolls on top. And the person who plays the most or has the most Maki Rolls in front of them scores six points. That's what the six is down there. And they all have little icons on the bottom to help us remember what these cards do. So if you have the most Maki Rolls, you score six. The runner-up scores three. Okay? And ties are handled a little differently. We'll, if, if we come to that, we'll, we'll talk about how, how we handle ties. The next one is Tempura. Um, for every, you have to have two of these to score, and when you when you have two of them down, you score five points. Pretty easy, right? So for every two, you score uh, five. Same with sashimi has three, so if you need three of a kind, you score ten points. So on, on dumplings, each one of the numbers at the bottom of the card uh, represents the next uh, card that you have. So just one dumpling scores one point. If you have two dumplings, it scores three. If you have three dumplings, it scores six, four is 10, five is 15, right? And after five, it's just 15 points. And then the next one is nigiri. Now we all have different nigiris. I have a little squid, which is yummy. Um, Gary has egg, and then we have salmon, right? Salmon. And, and they all score a little differently. The egg scores just one straight point. The salmon scores uh, two, and the squid scores three, because it's the best. That's why, because this is the absolute best nigiri. Um, and it's just a straight point, so when you play it, you get the point. Wasabi, however, doesn't score anything by itself. Um, you play this on the table, you get nothing until you put your nigiri on top. And it doubles the nigiri, or in this case, triples the nigiri point. The, the wasabi triples your nigiri points. Um, however, you don't get to put the wasabi on top of the nigiri. You have to have the wasabi down first and then play the nigiri on top. Okay? So there's that. Uh, chopsticks will be floating around the uh, in, in the hands and when you have a chopstick card it doesn't score anything. The way you use chopsticks is when Chance passes me his deck, you know we played and he passes me his deck, I can I can replace I can obviously draw one, but before I do that, I can I can yell sushi go, right? I can put the chopstick card back in this deck, and I can pull out two instead of one, okay? And then, of course, then the chopsticks chopsticks get passed on to Gary. So that's how chopsticks work. And then the last thing is pudding. Now, don't ignore the pudding, all right? Pudding does not score at the end of a round. Pudding only scores at the end of the game. So these are cards that will stay out for the whole for all three rounds when you play them um, the person with the most pudding at the end of the game gets six points and that's cool you could ignore pudding except that the person with the least number gets a negative six so you at least don't want the least number of pudding you know so you don't want to ignore the pudding and that's it at the end of each round we'll we'll count points at the end of the game we'll see who is the most satisfied so in a five player game we're going to start with seven cards each Six, right? Is that six? Sure, seven. we'll go with that. That's seven. All right. 
So you can look at your hand, select um, what looks the tastiest to you. <laughs> Which we have a bunch of uh, sushi eaters here, right? So yeah. <laughs> I, don't I love like sushi. I love sushi. All right, and then you'll play it face down whenever you found the card that you that you want to play. And once we've all played, we'll flip them over. All right, and then just kind of stick your little jug on there, and we'll flip them over. All right, all right, and then just pass your card to the player to the left. And we continue to go. Ooh. Well, thank you, sir. That was the most Steve excellent Gossel. hand to hand to man. give to me. Well, is a kind of you're welcome. No, you're looking out for me. I am indeed. I feel like I need to talk some stuff to Brian Casey. Because every time we play a game, well, then he defeats me. Then I thought it was going to go really well, and then it did not. All right, are we ready? All right, yep, yeah, we're ready. We'll flip them over and um, just kind of see. All right, so Chance thinks that he's going to battle me for the Maki rolls. I, like I guess the we're going to have to find out. Um, hmm. I'm just going to go for what food I like to roll. Is that your strategy? What you, what you really would like to eat? Yeah, I'm not a sushi guy. I would go for some of these. Yeah, I need to try sushi. You should. All right. So we'll flip it over and yep. All right. All right. Oh, you get the chops. Hey. 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 Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Back to the future. Sushi. Yeah. That's not a that's not a derogative Canadian no. word. No. We love Canadians. We love Canadians. <laughs> All right. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. We love Canadians. Yeah. 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 We love everybody. Yes, we do. Especially Not Canadians. Equally, but I mean, we love them. Yeah. The lesser love, you know, like, you know. High number nine. So this, I can't remember how this works. I'll swap what. Two. So if you want to use the chopsticks um, now, then you can place this back in your hand and you can pull out two cards instead of one. Okay. And then, of course, the chopsticks will be passed to me because you, you've placed it back in the deck. So I'll do this? That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Dumpling time. Okay. Dumpling. It's dumpling time. I gotta gotta eat those here. dumplings. Oh. Yeah, right, I'm organizing my my cards. Yeah, the the cards are set up to kind of help you with with that. So we keep we keep our cards out for all yeah. three rounds, right? Uh, that's a great question. We're gonna keep the pudding out. We and just so we can keep kind of clear the table, we'll put the rest awesome. of them away. It'll yeah, we will out. definitely keep the pudding out. So we add up our points at the end. Of yeah, we'll round. add up our okay. points. Are we ready? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I'm ready. High number eleven. Here's some sand. Sign puzzle magazine. All right. I see what's going on. Confidence. Now, yeah, because I don't. Small prime time pizza. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm winning oh, this no, game. None of these. Look appetizing? None of these look appetizing. <laughs> like to, I'm, 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 I'm disappointed in you, Brian. <laughs> you're, bring, you're bringing some bad stuff to the table, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a different song than the yeah. beginning of the game when you told me that I, I was giving you. What do you have to yell? Sushi go. Yes. All right. All right. Ready? Oh, wait. I gotta put my sticker. What? All right. The bar that I do. Yeah. That's a match. All right. And then pass the last card to the. And, and then you just play it. You just put your sticker on the back of it. It's fine. And then it just gets played. Oh, excellent. Hey, thank you. Excellent. I don't know if it's really going to help me, but hey. I'll play it, Buzz. All right. All right, and yet, is that one flipped over? Is that one of yours? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, now we just count up your points. So the person with the most uh, Maki gets six, which I think. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, three. Eight. So you got the six because you had nine, and then I got the three because I had um, eight. And so then, other than that, everything else is pretty much self kind three. of contained scoring. So just uh, count up your points and nine. So it's six? You'll get six for that, just a straight six. So that's all I get. The only and then just leave those out. And then I have this. Yeah, which that's, that's not anything. Here, because I've got two, mm -hmm. two for a. 
And then I've got six points here between them, so I'll be in there. High number 24. Okay. Mario I got uh, 14. So. Not the okay, so you got, well, you got six for the dumplings. For the dumplings, five for that. So 11. Yeah. One, one off. Mario All right. I got 11. Three of those. Yes. One of those. Nice. All right. Yes, All right. So that's the end of round one. Keep your, keep your pudding out. All right, this time we're going to pass to the right for round two. <laughs> that guy that just sits there and is like, I think Harry, Harry, Like Rain Man, you get a Rain Man in here, you know. Like. I'm sure there's a version of like Sushi Yo Rain Man. Yeah. Where he like, where he knows all the statistics of, of Sushi Go, how many is in each one, and he's calculated out. As you play, I'm just say, if, uh, if you've actually done that, don't have much. You probably need, yeah. You probably need some help. Go on vacation. You have like some intervention. Pudding. Oh, oh. it's the pudding race. It's, it's not a race. Hey, it's not a race, man. He's, uh, he's got it all to himself. He's got it all to himself. You and I can pretend like we're racing. <laughs> uh, you're not. Got three. Pudding's one of those things that you don't have to be the best, you just can't be the worst. Either. Yeah, that's the like, thing about the mechanic that yeah, I like. He is, uh, ready? Uh, <laughs> we haven't had any ties, but all ties are pretty much split in this game. Um, Maki rolls are kind of funky if it's if it's tied for first and then second doesn't get anything. But what? Okay. Ah, pass. you got the squid. Uh, for one time, I really wanted squid. <laughs> No one ever really wants squid. That's not true. Totally. That is Sometimes not just, true. Just given to them. We were, we were really? the best, yeah. yeah. Ready. Right. I just okay. feel like there's a good way to organize this so my plate looks better. And I'm just going to drop this card just like a non regulation move right there. <laughs> you know, if we were like in the uh, Sushi Go World Tour, you know, this would work. Um, all right, I'm sushi going with the with the chopsticks. How you doing, Gary? Uh, How's your plate? It's, it's looking like I had dessert first, <laughs> and I tried this like hot stuff with some. Salmon. Ooh, that, that would have been that would have been a good idea. <laughs> like Remember some, that. But see, now I'll implement it when it doesn't make sense. Like I'll bring I'll bring plates for walk the plank, and they're like, "You're an idiot. Why did you do that? You didn't bring an eye patch. You brought a plate." Just put this in context of the last video. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're ready. All right. Reveal. We're so a game late. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, welcome. I can definitely dig that. that. Shrimp looks a little bit creepy. This is the first time I've not really gone after like tempura. It's such an easy score. I usually do it right off the bat. Sushi go here. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, one thing about drafting games you could do pretty easily is just kind of solo it. But if you're not paying attention to like what the next guy is collecting, you probably like I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably just passing on great cards you guys. Well, yeah, like, like you said. Uh, like we should be, we should all be trying to take dumplings away from Will. <laughs> Is that we're but, yeah, but we're we've, we've made we've made such a mistake that it's now that we cannot undo this now. Um, <laughs> That's true. No more dumplings for Will. He's no had. More, you got to uh, cut him off. No more dumplings for you. <laughs> so another question about chopsticks. Okay, I don't have to take these two. Well, I guess I can. this round. If do, you if you if you drop the chopsticks in, then those are the two cards you take. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you're gonna pass them to, to Brian. You'll still well, get another uh, another card. These are like symbolic chopsticks, like when they give you chopsticks with your meal, but you really eat it with a fork. <laughs> you know, like, like, I can't do anything with these, but I'll go ahead and put them on the table with me. So that's, that's yeah. That's what I'm like, so, ready? Yes. Put it on my table, sir. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm got some pudding. Oh, you have some pudding now. All right. Oh, I'm so sad. I think Will's actually get. I don't know. Yeah. This one's hard to tell. Our last card. All right, last card. You just take it and you eat it. I mean, that's just. Yeah. Oh god. I gotta yeah. Eat oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those are a little crunchy. Yeah, fiber, man. Might be a little. Give me little. some vegetables. Yeah. yeah. All right. So again, pudding doesn't score. Uh, the Might only thing we really can compare is later. maki. So I think Brian beat us all out on the maki rolls this time. I got runner up again. So six to you, three to me, and then everything else. 
Uh, just count it up. This is nothing. Yeah. That's gonna be uh, nothing because, and that's nothing because you have to have the two and three of a kind. Okay. But all of these uh, just kind of score straight points. Six, eight. So that's six. Eight for you. Yeah. Ten. Ten. You got eleven. What do you have? Twelve. Wow, nice. Yeah. Nice. Golf clap. <laughs> all right. So once you've got your card in hand. Oh, uh, we're gonna pass back to the left wait, again wait, wait. as we you know, started. I'm behind. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Star shape this time if you'll pass in the star direction. Most complicated part of the game. <laughs> Birth order. <laughs> <laughs> Who's oldest? You're born on the same day. Tear the cards in half. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, yes. Yeah. Did you know that there's a um, a little snack called wasabi peas? Do you like wasabi peas? Have y'all had wasabi peas? Um, I think that's the most disgusting thing on the planet. But it was like, I'm in company of people who like it, you know? So, you know, have you ever been there where you're like, oh yeah, it's great, you just eat them, like, just to kind of fit in, but you really hate everything about it? Anyway. Basically college. <laughs> Sure, I like I like PBR. Yeah, it's a great beer. Well, we'll go with this, buddy. Um, no, I don't have. Yeah, don't look at my fridge. I actually have good stuff. Not this will. All right, you guys are we ready? Everybody ready? All right, all right. Don't get me wrong, I like wasabi, it's not in the form of a pea. Or egg nigiri, no one wants to. Go I never really felt like that was real sushi. Like, come on, you didn't really make an effort. You you scrambled an egg and you stuck it on some rice. Well, I guess put a fancy egg on it. Alright, are we ready to reveal? Yes. Alright, hey, hey. Alright, hey. Yeah. Searching for Maki roll dominance. Oh, yeah, I see you fucking feel there. Yeah, I don't have time for these one Maki roll cards. I give that to you. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good thing about a drafting game. It's like, oh, this card's pretty bad. Can give it to you? <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> I have no use for this. I don't know, like the last card you always feel like is the dredge. You're like <coughs> flipping it over, expecting the worst. You ready? <laughs> All right. Hey. I feel like we need to have, uh, which I know this is fun. We need to have like the Jap Japanese chef hat. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been cool. maybe some fire and like the ching 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 and then like a hibachi. Yeah, right here. With actual food. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally thinking that at, right after we're we're done here, we're gonna go eat. We set. Oh, oh, we're tied. Oh wow! All right, so you get you two have the maki roll. Oh snap! We let him get the sashimi. That's not. That's not cool, man. Oh wow! I didn't even see that. Yeah, he's gonna win the round. All right. <laughs> but I have dumplings that I'm gonna eat chicken with. So it's all right. Chicken and dumplings. All right. You ready? I don't think it quite works that way. Oh, oh, again? The, the, the straight random card, like what, what What? did Brian give me? Yeah. Hey, hey, it's one point, man. Hey, guess what? Is that really a... Guess what? Oh. You did. You got it. You got it. Is that a... Um, that's not cool, man. He gets Maki roll. You guys are ignoring Chance over here while he's like racking it up. <laughs> that's Whoa. insane. He's got both the, the, the triple threat on the dumplings and the... Oh. And, and, and he still has much money. <laughs> it's six and points. He's still humble about it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's like, no, no, guys. We're just this plate, man. I mean, that's like a lot good? of food. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so each one of these represents the next card line. So, since you have three cards, you score the six. Cool. 16 points. Um, and then, so you got the you got the six, you got the three this time for the Maki. I got, I got three. Oh man, I never did get. So for the round, you gotta be kidding me. This is like the worst round I've had. Five points. 
Wow. Yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, then, then we added the uh, <laughs> yeah. putting in later, we were, right? We were, uh, we were kind of empathizing with you, but that's really terrible. <laughs> that is, I feel, uh, yeah, that's horrible. Basically, yours is the opposite of mine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. This is, this is how you should end the round. Don't end it over here. Lonely little shrimp over here. All right, so the last thing is um, pudding. So whoever had the most pudding gets six additional points, which I think is a chance. Wow, like he needed it. And then Will sat down there with just, he was too full. He said no to all the dessert. No dessert. And so it's a negative uh, six no. all right. to Will. So let's add up. Uh, Casey has uh, 34. Uh, that's 34. Chance has Whoa. 36. Nice. Um, Brian Beach has 30. Uh, I have 30. And Will has 21, 29, uh, 23. So. 23. Uh, you should have stocked up on the pudding. Yeah. Uh, He's watching his figure, though. Yeah. He told me for the YouTube video, he was trying to. You know, we get ready for this. Like, uh, we talked about earlier that dinner is just the pathway to dessert. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So was I lying there sure. or am I lying now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, thank you guys for thank you guys for coming out and uh, and playing sushi go with us. We want to thank uh, Prime Time, our our host tonight. If you're in the Abilene area and you want to come by and you have some free time to spend, this is a great place to spend it. You can, there's bowling, arcade. Uh, there's obviously a lot of uh, things going on back here. So come out, uh, check them out. And uh, we'll see you next time.